Hello, we're gonna be playing 60 seconds today. Um, I really don't know much about this game. It looked good on Steam. Based on the trailer, I think we have to survive a nuclear bomb or something. I really don't know. So let's see what happens. We're gonna do a new game. Hop right into it. Tutorial, okay. Challenge. Um, scavenge around your house for supplies and survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. So, it, the full atomic experience. Should I be doing that one? No survival included. This one's random supplies. Okay, let's do Atomic Drill because we've never played this game. We'll just do the tutorial then. Okay, begin. For all injuries ranging from paper cuts to decapitations. Med kit, okay. Welcome to your Atomic Scavenge Drill. Pay attention. Whoa. <laughs> I'm moving ahead to the marked point in front of you. Move it. Where? What marked point? Where is it? Where is there a yellow X? Oh, there it is. Find Timmy. Find him. Oh, fuck. Timmy's right here. Right. He's right here. Food. Grab it. There's food in here. Okay, here. Find a radio. This is a radio. Okay. Here. There's soup. carry one human at a time? Oh. 
Soup. 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 Oh god. Gun. Full and full. Shit. Uh oh. Oh, I have to. I have to be at at the thing. Okay. Okay. I think I get it now. a little bit. We can get the gun. Uh, let's just stay. Isn't the whole point of having one of these that the food's already down there? Like, you should have all your canned goods and stuff down there already. That's what I thought. Made it to the shelter, but the drill's not over yet. You'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. Find out useful things about your shelter and its inhabitants whenever your survival journal is not opened or hidden. Okay. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out. To a given person by selecting the picture or can of or bottle under the portrait. Rational by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might see your spouse for later. Normal person can only survive four days without water. Four days. So we gave them nothing. Okay, I don't want to do the the tutorial. Be um, I want to I want to experience the full game. I feel like the tutorial is getting too into it. So let's just experience the game. New game. Apocalypse. I'll be Dolores. Little boy? Okay.
the dad where is the dad oh uh, wait is it random every time because before before the house looked different this is hard let's, let's try again I'll be the dad this time and we're going to try to find the mom. Because that's how the tutorial was. She was in the bedroom before. I feel like the whole house changed. You need a key for that? Where's the wife? Okay. I can't grab both of them. Me. Got this, got this, got this. Gun. Water. Soup. Soup, soup. Water, water. God. Okay, we made it. We didn't get everything, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I tried. I don't know if I got enough food and water. Ugh, so that was tough. We didn't get a radio or anything. Should I get a radio? Give soup to everyone. Okay. Playing the sign game would be a good idea. Scientists to annoy. I I I just wanna. We're gonna go back. I wanna try to get the radio this time. I feel like I don't wanna start this until we have like a good amount of stuff. Cause they said to get the radio and we didn't get it. So let's just try. Okay. Where is the radio? Where's the hatch? Over here. Did 
Did I shoot something already? This is not going well. No. I need to restart. I need to restart. That was cool, it had new stuff, but I still don't like... Okay, whatever we get this time, we're gonna just stick to. Here's a radio. Okay. Where's the little girl? No. Go, 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 go. Where's the little kid? Where is he? Oh, okay. Restart. Restart, restart, restart. We gotta... All we gotta do is find the radio and our, our children first. So, not in the kitchen. There she is. Dad's in the bathroom. Okay, he's in this room. Okay. Grab him. Where's the thing? Grab her. Bathroom. get the radio oh this is so hard why am I why am I being like this you, you can't be in down there without a radio he's over here there, where's the radio Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't get the radio. I don't know where it is. Do we have no soup? Oh no, okay, let, 
Let's go back. <laughs> We're gonna restart. We're gonna restart. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. We can do this. This is hard. Okay, where's little Timmy over here? Radio. Gas mask. Okay, run. like a delay in between grabbing things. It's really bothering me. Grab this. Grab this. Soup. Water. Go, 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 go. We made it, right? Okay. What do we get? Ten cans of soup. What do we get? We don't have ten cans now. Got some soup and water. Okay. Let's see. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all here together, we can make it work down here. Remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better anyway. Um, our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat cans. We'll sleep on cans. We've talked to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is a good amount of supplies. Okay. We'll all have soup. We thought it'd be a great idea to have some role-playing fun and create our own shelter theater group. Called it Thunderdome. We spent the rest of the day trying to write a script for our performance. We almost got into a fight over it. Decided it maybe it would be best to play something simpler. Okay. On day two. We played truth or dare. When it turned out, we only kept asking questions. And the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? We decided that's enough for game, enough games for now. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. What is this? Interesting. So we could we could go outside and scavenge, but probably not. Good idea. Okay. We'll have another soup. Day three. Mary Jane is too old for birthdays, that's what we think. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do a water on day three. The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. Uh, maybe we shouldn't. You know what? Sure. 
They had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse, using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other, while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they had lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine their whereabouts. Okay. So we sent the girl out. Right? Can we? Seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. Graciously accepted and wished them luck on their quest. Ted is no longer thirsty. Nobody's thirsty. Okay, let's have soup. You know what? Um, we'll just have soup for the... The kids. Choose someone to scavenge. Um... Maybe she takes the mask. Because, you know, don't want to die. But maybe we should have taken the axe. Okay. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital, moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. Their problem is some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. No. We don't. Now, okay, we don't think they're real doctors, but just in case they were, we got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Everyone wants water. Heard something about supply drops on the radio. This might be one of these survives. What's happening in our house? We can't because she took the gas mask. Is she gonna come back? It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we stayed indoors. This is the radio. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Dolores, okay. Um, I guess we'll have soup. But he doesn't get any this time. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. If this had happened after we drank that delicious wine for supper a few weeks back, it would seem perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Oh no. Where is the girl? What's that noise? Everyone okay? Let's hope so. We need to make a proper inspection. That was one nasty earthquake. We never used to get such bad ones before. It's all because of the atoms. Definitely the atoms. No one should mess with atoms. No one. Ted is fine. Fine for Dolores. Um, we'll just give soup to Timmy, I guess. Okay. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Ted needs water. A rat rat's usually smarter than cats. What's that double tail? We can't let that thing gather supplies. Axe the rat. What's that noise? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still at the top of the food chain. In progress. Okay. 
Nobody gets anything. Yeah, open the door. Is it the daughter? Oh, she's back, yeah. Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We are about to give up and come back empty-handed to the shelter when we ran into a church. It looked peaceful enough to save for an unexploded atomic bomb stuck in the church. Tower signs looked like people were praying the bomb chanting. Can soup. Okay, so she needs soup. Give her soup. Sure, we'll have Dolores go out. Able to get a weak, weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. Guess what? Great news. The ball outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Um, Ted's really thirsty. Mary Jane Sack use a little food. Everyone wants water. And she should take the axe. Sure. Okay. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted might have some nasty scars if these wounds ever heal. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Quite hungry. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Um, so, no soup for you, but you can have soup. If there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're such sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our ears and eyes open for any sign from them. <clears throat> Morse code? Bug spray. Interesting. The government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. Okay. Everyone's really hungry. Fine, have soup. Everyone's fighting. Okay. Nothing better than the quiet after the storm, or was it the other way around? Ted is still suffering from his injuries. No longer hungry, Ted needs water. Everybody needs water. Ring, ring, there we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, and suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. Who should go outside? We're going to send young Timmy. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves to survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. They started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. 
Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Ted's anymore is worse. Either we do something about his wounds or he is done for. We don't have medicine. Can't tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try doing something about it with whatever we brought down here. Uh... Oh, look at her. She looks terrible. <laughs> Hey, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. We're glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Police station was still standing, and we found a few officers who were still alive. They didn't look like the ones you remember, but they all have uniforms and badges. This must be some kind of a replacement cops. Made the best fit is the operation of the basement. Even painted some walls with a bunch of morale boosting slogans like New Order, World is Ours. Policemen were quite nervous when we were around. After a short chat, they gave us some food, told us to go away, never mention what we saw to anyone. Um. Oh, we got a new. We got a new gun. Axe didn't make it. Ah. Oh. The kids are fine. But the... Oh, we can't. We'll just give her water. Alright, we're sending the dad out. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. Could be nothing but annoying static. Better look next time. Death's getting worse and worse. Mary, so the, the daughter is thirsty. The kids are thirsty now. sick why doesn't he bring the chessboard with him maybe he'll be able to barter with someone <laughs> I don't know play a game with someone and win something Timmy is hungry and the mom is hungry okay exchange for four in exchange for the radio let's just do four for the radio because we're not getting anything from the radio we need water Source needs more time to rest. Dolores needs water. Oh. Hungry, tired, sick, thirsty. Okay. Hungry. That's helpful. After Dolores returned from that expedition, she was complaining of a minor foot injury. It might have been a right foot. <sighs> oh, we can't, we can't, we don't have any of that. Uh oh. We shoot it off with the gun. Oh, God. 
We didn't do anything about the infected wounds. After all, our ancestors could survive without all that fancy medicine. Why should we listen to the doctors? Dolores is looking more sickly, though. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food, spare some water. Okay, so she's hungry, thirsty, thirsty. Thirsty, hungry, thirsty, tired, sick, fatigued. Hmm. Peek outside for just a minute, see if the store around the corner was still standing. When we were out, step out, we heard a growl in the darkness. <gasps> Rifle. What was that? So we're about to eat something. So she's hungry. Okay. Talk to Timmy. Sure. What's going on? Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. We can't just sit around while Dolores is so sick. So she's just thirsty. He's hungry. Okay. Sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paste as he offers simple of him deal. Oh. Sure, we have extra soup. What do we get in, from the bag? What do we get? A cat? <gasps> oh, we got a cat! As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag started violently shaking, making screeching hellish sounds. Angry cat. Trying the little things life is so important. So Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter. She got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck, enough water and soil might be able to grow our own food. Uh, sure. Might not grow though, but sure. Here goes nothing. Soil seeds water. We'll see what happens in a few days time. Let's just hope these Seeds don't turn to some useless flower. A serious note today, politely requesting that we share some supplies. We don't have enough soup. How do I... We only have two cans of soup left. Ted was returned a few days later. A few days before the blast, Timmy got into a fight with a kid named Ethan and beat him with a stick. We were supposed to visit Ethan's parents and talk about the incident, but we were a bit busy back then. Well, now we have all the time in the world, and although it looked like our friends weren't home, we still decided to pay them a visit. We were invited after all. These people were obsessed with tomato soup. We saw many cans in their ruined kitchen. Most of them were damaged, and all the tomato goodness has leaked out, but some survived. Behind the remains of their kitchen counter, we found some water. Awesome. We don't have a lot of opportunities for entertainment these days, so we saw a big mutated snail next to the road. We decided to play with him, throwing checker pieces in the gaping hole that was its mouth. It was fun while it lasted, but eventually the snail got book bored and left. It turns out it was sitting on a radio all this time. <gasps> okay. Oh no, Ted is dead? He's dead? Whoops. Sh 
sure. Dirty ice cream truck is low, crispy around the edges. There's also missing wheels and other crucial parts. The seats are fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave this radioactive hell behind us? Okay. She's thirsty. He's both. Let's bring some cards. Give her a water. Paper on the dress could loan it. Could its previous owner still be around worried sick? Sure. Grab their new fluffy friend for a little stroll through the waist, only to run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats. Rooted at their teeth at the sight of the cat, looking for it. Apparently it belongs to their dear old Dan, who loves it dearly. Aww. They just took our cat. Yeah, from the school. No, they're from kids. I'm gonna say no. I'm not gonna take from the kids. We're no bandits. Sure, we need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We won't bother these people. A man who takes can to me a soup from another is not worried to taste that soup. Um. Right for. Uh-oh. Oh, this plant. Oh, no. Uh... Bug spray. It's dead. Bug spray is the best defense. Music from the radio stopped and it said we got to listen to our transmission. We're almost halfway to the door when they start talking about evacuation. Okay. recipe for a good start to the day. It turns out Sharikov found a new toy. A bit of innocuous wiring that it ripped out of the wall. Yeah. 
Let's see what this wire was for. Where'd the cat? Oh, the cat's right there. Followed the wire outside and found a half burned out truck with two surprised gentlemen inside. Listening in? Yes. Maybe they want to help. Why would they spy on us, though? They were agents, real life secret agents on the government mission. Boys in our neighborhood are going to be in trouble. We decided to follow them to their source and start. Tracking a group of scavengers. We weren't from around here. We took the opportunity to liberate one of their backpacks. Oh, we got a med kit. Okay, we'll give her, she's diseased. She's hungry. Give her the medicine. Sure, we'll give them some soup. at the location with the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. Um, cured. Good. We are low on soup and water. Alright, who we're, we're gonna send Timmy out. And he's gonna bring... The map? The gun? Take the gas mask. Sure. Sat down with the codes, they're working on it, very focused. Wonder what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have been far from where the bomb fell, but no one knows for sure. for 40 days. How long is this gonna be? This is crazy. Bingo, our scout handbook holds more than a ton of knowledge useful in times of apocalypse. There are some photos stuck in between its pages along with some crosswords.
Where in? Okay. This is not good. We need food. Jane can go hunting. Get some food. Able to tune in and get rid of just enough static to listen to an energetic and lively speaker seems well informed to mention a few helpful tips which make it easier for us to survive. Um, no. Another army transmission. have an axe. Everyone's just getting water. Mom's gonna go outside. Okay. Is she dead? Or no, she just went out on a trip. Oh, I didn't know that was even an option. stole our stuff. We've been giving them too much food, I think. Tight dark tunnel is not a good idea. Jane, go. Yeah, eat them. <laughs> Do 
Banana soup is our best friend. Mushrooms aren't. Crap. We have a little bit of soup. I don't know. Timmy's gonna die. Give them water. They want four. We don't have that. Unbelievable. Fight back. Our gun broke. dying. Okay. Yeah, go alone. It'll be fine. I got left behind. Okay, good. We got soup. Soup. No expedition. But we only have four left. That seems like a bad idea. No.
died. And the bandits were dead. Oh no. Okay. Get an axe. Yeah, we couldn't. The end. Okay. Alright. Well, that's it. That was our first run. <laughs> we lost two people. We lasted a long time. Very interesting. Um, I'll probably play through this game again at some point to try to get a better ending. Maybe I'll stream this game. I feel like this would be a good game to play with chat. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.